Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to do push based exercises. Basically we are going to work on our shoulders and triceps. So let's start with the greatest stretch, 5 repetitions on each side to unlock the mobility. As a pre-workout recommended always make sure you dedicate this couple of minutes. It just hardly takes a minute if you do it 5 repetitions just hold it for 5 seconds. Hardly a minute maybe more than a minute that's it but totally recommended to make sure that you go you get flowing you can also do this particular stretch as i mentioned earlier in my previous videos before going to bed or as soon as you wake up just to unlock your body absolutely the best stretch to do make sure you feel the stretch in your inner thighs your glutes your hamstrings your upper back your shoulders your chest entirely now after this we do a mandatory deep squat make sure you push your glutes as far behind as possible feel the stretch in your hamstring and once they're completely stretched out bend your knees and go into a deep squat hold there for 5 to 10 seconds that's absolutely fine we are not going to do static stretching we are just going to do the deep squat as a part of our dynamic stretching and once done we get up and move into our mobility drills for our shoulder workouts the first one I am doing is pl plate around my head. Now you can use a kettlebell or a dumbbell but that would be a little bit uncomfortable in, in terms of taking it around your head. I prefer doing it with a plate. I have done 10 repetitions starting from one side basically clockwise and anti-clockwise. For my second mobility drill I have done the beer crawls. So basically you just stand straight and then you bend forward and start crawling till you get into a push-up stance and then crawl back up to a standing straight posture. Both these exercises will also warm up your shoulder for all the compression which we are going to put it through and take your shoulder throughout the range of motion it is capable of. Remember your shoulder is a ball and socket joint so the rotations will ensure that we are primely ready for it. When it comes to the beer crawls, you can do it about 8 to 10 repetitions. Go slow, try to crawl as slow as possible, feeling the compression in your shoulder and your shoulder working really hard to stabilize your entire body. Your core also contributes a lot here, but our focus is mainly at our shoulder level. Make sure you take a full hand grip don't just rest on your fingers, rest your entire palm on the floor while crawling forward. Now let's begin with our exercises. I'm going to warm up with one set of seated overhead press dumbbells. Obviously, I still would keep continuing to train as much as possible uh, with dumbbells to ensure that I don't push with my strongest side more. I'm still not very sure about pushing it with barbell because last time when I have done that I felt a little bit of discomfort on my left side so I don't want to stick to a barbell I, I would choose to work on the dumbbells and they were very comfortable in terms of placing my elbows in front of me and also having the freedom of space now I have done basically six sets of it first set was warm up and then five sets of working sets with the first set I have started with the most challenging weight I could push through after starting the weight, I realized I could have done more. Here, actually, I grabbed 20 kilo dumbbells on each hand. I could have gone up to 25 to get that 8 to 10 repetition mark. But that's where I started. So I just stuck to it. Make sure you keep breathing. Don't stop breathing. You breathe in as you raise it up and you breathe out as you bring it down. I have dropped the weight with every set just by one increment so basically i went from 20 to 17 to 15 and then 12 kilos now the reason why i have done is that because with shoulders i would like to get my repetitions on mark then to keep pushing extra amount of weight because when i try to push a lot of weight after my shoulders fatigue i usually lose my form very quickly so i like to keep my shoulders tight and then push the weight as efficiently as possible with the manageable weight for the set. The break in between these sets could be up to 60 seconds. That's more than sufficient since you're seated, your core is not much demanded. And here I'm sitting down on a military press bench. 
So if you don't have that, you can sit on a, a flat bench and take a support of a Smith machine just under your upper back. Don't lock up your upper back. I don't like taking a full back support while doing an overhead press. Now for my next exercise, I started to I started with the raid delts. So here for that, I prefer to do it on this particular equipment. And I have realized from the last time to this time that my positioning of my hand instead of the upper handle by placing my hand at the lower handle, I was able to get much better ray delt squeeze. So make sure when you try this particular exercise on this similar kind of equipment, just ex experiment with the positioning of your hand because that matters a lot and I feel that it is quite individual when it comes to activating that ray delt because of the number of muscles which are located in that particular region it's very easy to overlook or the uh, most most of the times the mid trapezium and the upper trapezium will kick in while trying to do this particular amount uh, particular movement they will here also but i try to keep it at least 80 to 90 percent all ray delt movement have done again this particular movement also have done unilateral training because i did not want one side to start pushing the weight better than the other one just to ensure that both sides are working equal amount of weight and i would recommend that for you also to at least for the first two sets i've done four sets of it 12 repetitions for at least for first two to three sets do unilateral if you're tired go go back to doing both hands at a time but try to focus on getting that rate delt activation as much as possible Positioning of the arms again as I mentioned just experiment for one set with few 8 to 10 repetitions and try to go as slow as possible. If you notice one more thing I usually stop just about just before the weight touches or rest completely I try to keep the weight always in tension basically the cable is always in tension so there's a constant pull on my ray delt. And that's where the most amount of contraction happens. The range of motion which you can see here, me doing, that's the most amount of contraction. You don't have to squeeze it way behind or you don't need to let the weight completely rest. Doing one hand at a time also lets you identify if there is any kind of uh, tightness in your shoulder or in your ray delt or in your traps because that's when you start feeling a different contraction happening on one side than the other. Again, a simple foam rolling or a tennis ball massage would definitely relieve the tension so that you can focus more on the exercise. Also, the seating position, you can see I try to lean a little bit forward while sitting down to get that extra bit of stretch for my delt. Now for my next exercise, I'm going to work on my front delts here while doing this particular exercise you will also get a little bit of activation on your upper chest and that's absolutely fine we try to focus mostly 60 to 70 percent of effort coming from the front delt now if you remember i have done this ex uh, particular exercise on a cable setup but since the cable machine is occupied i prefer to do this on a free weight and i have done this on a free weight also long ago maybe when i was doing 20 or when i was on my 20th video or something Pretty simple, lie down on an inclined bench, just about 45 degrees angle, completely head down and from there raise the dumbbells up. You might feel a little bit of tension in your biceps also through the range of movement. They are not contracting but you will definitely feel the stretch because your biceps are connected to your shoulders and your elbows. Since you kept your elbows straight and you start raising up, you will feel a little bit of biceps chest would also be working a lot in between it might even jump up to 50 percent of contribution but your friend delt is the one which is bringing the weight from down till the mid level of your body post that chest activation might increase a little bit but that's absolutely fine because we have done five sets of overhead press our friend delt is already pretty well worked out so this exercise would be a good finisher for it now for my next exercise, the mandatory calf training, standing calf training. Today I chose to go for a heavier dumbbell. Now when you're choosing to do this a particular exercise in the way I am doing by holding a dumbbell, there will be a lot of grip strength uh, demand. So if you want, you can use straps or 
like me you can consider it as a compound training wherein we are training both our grip strength and our calf muscles i'm holding on to a i think i got a 20 kilo dumbbell so yes there will be a little bit more stress on the side where the dumbbell is so if it's on the right side the right calf might feel a little bit more sore than the right, uh, left calf so switch in between the sets for my next exercise i'm going to work on my triceps i have done two variations of rope push down in the first variation i leaned a bit forward and i kept the rope as close to my body as possible to get my hands as straight as possible while keeping my elbows in midline of my body or behind the midline of my body while pushing down try to get the maximum amount of uh, extension in your elbows to get that tricep contract within the first two sets you should feel a lot of blood pumping into your triceps thanks to all the shoulder work we have done but we keep going we'll do five sets of it 12 repetitions now for my last three sets i have done this particular variation which is basically you rock forward and backward with one leg forward one leg place a little bit back every time you want to squeeze down you rock back get the extra amount of travel on your tricep and when leaving it back up leaving the cable back up you rock forward just to parallel level your elbows become parallel to the floor and then again you rock back down to get the maximum amount of extension pretty simple way to do it this also the reason why i like this particular way a uh, particular way to train my triceps is because this eliminates a lot of trap and shoulder involvement as we rock back and forth by now my triceps were done i was completely tired i was not able to get maximum amount of contractions i was hitting close failure without losing my form i would not be able to perform any more repetitions for my next exercise i am going to do the oblique twist make sure only one cue here because the rest of the exercise is pretty easy you just need to spin make sure you keep your hips as locked as possible and brace your core squeeze your core and once you squeeze your core and you start rotating is where you feel that obliques working a lot you will also feel a mild discomfort wherein your muscles are not allowing you to twist but that's how the contractions work a pretty easy exercise you can do it standing seated i prefer standing because my hips stay more locked that way for the next bit we are going to do dead hang or the vertical hangs remember when we are hanging our shoulders are decompressing also so it's a great way to close our shoulder and push workout by hanging for about trying 100 seconds still not there post workout about to get the 60 odd seconds but good amount of forearm work and also shoulder decompression after a good push day so now we move on to our shoulder decompression we do 10 circles by just trying to reach the floor and making 10 circles on the floor like i am doing completely de uh, decompresses the ball and socket joint again if you did like the video i would greatly appreciate a like if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel a sub to the channel would be extremely helpful if you have any feedback please do drop a comment make sure you do just 10 circles are more than enough if you still feel a little bit of tightness in your shoulder you can do a second set but more than 10 second uh, 10 circles doesn't add any more value but you need to feel that shoulder ball coming out of the shoulder uh, shoulder a little bit of decompression happening for my last static stretch i have done my tricep work basically placed my elbows on a support and then leaned forward in between my arms i basically pushed my wrist as far behind as possible to get that stretch happening in between my elbows and my lats my triceps are getting stretched thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you in the next video have a good day